Have you ever felt like you contributed to an organization or land-based community only to feel undervalued? Did you put in your all, your time, money, and effort only to feel like your voice wasn't heard? Were you someone who contributed a ton of time and energy to a project only to get into a conflict and to be asked to move off the property? Look, I've been there. Believe it or not, these are signs of an unsuccessful community or in the terms I like to call power versus responsibility. When a collective project has power and responsibility that are equal, they actually don't have a lot of these issues. Some examples of people with power are people who have ownership of the land or have a lot of money within the community. The person in power might obtain responsibility and they might have the deed in their name or they might be responsible to paying bills or making money on the property. However, they also could be people that uh, put responsibilities on others like cleaning or taking care of the garden. The problem here is the people who have responsibilities, whether it's building a cob house or making a garden or running the Airbnb business, they often don't feel heard or justified in what that they're doing. Most of the time, either the person in power or the people who feel really responsible and don't have power get burnt out. The key to a successful community is to delegate tasks while also learning how to delegate power or capital.